Hi everyone, this video is just to help you remember how to set up your Seesaw classes once we begin the school year. So this, the district is automatically populating your classes for you. You should see um, the course number from SIS located here in the top right hand corner of your screen. And then the students that is automatically populated down below it, you could scroll through to make sure they're all there. But you can make changes to any of this by clicking on this wrench icon in the top right hand corner. Now you're going to notice that Seesaw is a little different this time. They have edited it over the summer and added a few new features. So I'm going to click the wrench first to get it set up. And this opens up your class setting. Now again, this is your um, official name for your course from SIS so that your information will transfer back. However, this is going to confuse your students. So I would recommend that you just click it. And then here you can go ahead and change the name of this course. to whatever is most suited for your students. Click the back arrow and now it is changed. If for some reason the system mis, um, misunderstood the grade level, you could do this drop down here and change it and manage teachers. You could add a co-teacher if you wanted to here and you can add um, or remove a teacher. You could change the theme. Right now this is just the color. If you click on there, you can change it to any color you want. You may want each of your different classes a different color for easy viewing and access. And then here you get to choose a class icon. Typically, it's the abbreviation um, of the letters of the name of the course, but you can see you can choose any of these. So maybe for PE, these balls would be more appropriate. So we just click it and now our icon has changed and you'll see that on the desktop right here in the right hand corner in just a moment. Now here our students at most of our levels and lower, uh, lower grades are gonna be sharing devices. So we want them to sign in by class code. That means that you'd be able to get them to use a QR code to sign into the class and all students would have access to your Seesaw at that point. If you notice there's something wrong with one of your students, you could click here, Manage Students. And this is gonna bring you up a list now you'll see that in this class, almost all of these students have a little animal icon on the left and some of them do repeat. And then a few of them actually have a photo. So you can choose to add a photo for each of your students if you want, or you can make them all be an animal icon. But here you'll see that we have um, multiple students with one, the same animal. So we might wanna change that. So I'm just gonna click on that student and in the edit student screen, I have the option to change the icon by clicking on that. And then I can make Miss Charlotte any other that I would like. I would like to choose this kitten. You can see the blue box around it. And if I wanted to add a photo, I could click here, use photo at the bottom. In that case, I would recommend that you go ahead and use an iPad and take pictures of all your students and then change this in the Seesaw app on that device. I'm going to click the back arrow here to go back to the last screen. Again, I'm just in the edit student screen. This is how the student's first name, uh, official name. This is their last name. And you can see here display name. Sometimes your students may go by something other than their given name. And so you can just click here, display name, and you can change whatever the student goes by in class. You can enter that here and then simply click the back arrow to go back, it will automatically be edited. In some cases, your parents will connect and an email address will be uh, connected for them to receive notifications when their student posts anything. And so if you click here, you'll be able to see that address, what classes um, that student is in, other classes, and then their parent connections here, it says zero. So we're not going to remove the student from the class. And most often in this county, um, because of SIS, it will not allow you to do that without administrator approval. So we're gonna go back. Now we have all of these students. We've made simple changes. If you need to add a student, 
um, that is not showing up. Typically, after they enter your class, they should be added to this roster within 24 hours. But say that you have an activity going on, um, or if you have a student come in for a different level of of course, different level math or reading, and they're just from another classroom and you want to add them to your course, you could simply look up a student here. Let's see if, and so in this case, that student identification number was not found. You could enter the name of that student and then create student. If this were an active, if I had entered an active student ID number here, the student's name would be populated and it would say, do you want to add this student to your course? And you would just say yes. All right, so we're going to back to our class settings. Student likes and comments. You can allow students as they view um, all of the class materials inside the classroom. You can allow them the ability to like and comment on their classmates' work. So if you want that on, it needs to be here green. If you don't want to enable that, then you just click it again and turn it off. I'm gonna leave it on because this is not my class. Enable student con comments. Sometimes you want them to actively um, give constructive criticism to their peers. You would leave this on. If you don't, just turn this off. By turning it off, um, you do not have to approve the comments to be visible by the rest of the class. But if you decide you want them to be able to comment, I would recommend leaving this on for your students. Okay, uh, down here, you can turn off the ability for students to see each other's work. This is not going to be visible when they log in from home or from the launch pad. In that case, they would only be able to see their own work. In this case, when this button is on, if a student is in the classroom and using a class device signed into the entire class to post something to Seesaw, this is when they would be allowed to see that other work and then therefore like and comment on the work. New items require approval. A lot of times our children might say something that may or may not be appropriate, or something could be occurring in the background of one of their videos. So you may wanna listen in and hear and view those items first before they post for parent view. So you may wanna leave this on. Again, if you don't want it on, just click to turn it off. Enable item editing is a great feature. So I would leave this on, leave it green. What this does is it allows a student to submit a piece of work when it is not finished and then go back in on, an, on another day and click um, edit. And so they'll be able to go in and finish the same piece of work for further grading. Um, here, sample student, you can have a sample student. So if you wanted to go in and create sample works to show your students what your expectation is for an assignment, then you may want to leave that on as well. Family access is a great feature in Seesaw. It's going to allow you to allow um, to have your parents connected to the class, which again, when they sign in from their own device at home, it will send them notifications to let them know that their student has submitted work. The enable blog feature, please reach out if you're interested in the class raw blog. It's a great way to connect classes from around the world and to give your students the ability to give feedback to other classes and see what's being done in different parts of the country. You may want to have folders. I recommend that most classes from three down um, would have just one class for all of their students and then to create folders for separate subjects if you didn't want them all together. In that case, you would click manage folders. You could click create a folder and then choose any color you want. Right now we're on red and you may say uh, math because I love math so that's why I would make it red. And then I could create another folder and I could say reading make that orange and click here. So now my students have two folders, a math folder and a reading folder, in which case when they go to submit their work um, in their Seesaw class, they will need to determine which folder should they put it in. And here you have the ability to make your device save it to camera roll, any work that your students are submitting. However, because of the space and memory on the device, I don't recommend you turn that off. Okay. And these features you do not need to worry about right now. So if you have done all of that, 
pretty much your class is all set up. You can see we've changed the icon here. And last but not least, there's two things here on the bottom. The very bottom, you'll see where it says students. When I click that, it gives you the option to go ahead and print the student sign in poster at the bottom. And when you click this, hmm, you may not be able to see this. When you click this, you are going to get the option to just print the QR code for your students to be able to um, sign in. And it's the QR code poster that you could put on the wall. Now there is a, um, a letter code that your students can enter for having just one hour access, but I like to use the QR code that will be good for the entire year for your students. We'll go back and there's just one more thing here for families. If I click that here where it says turn on family access, once you have turned that on in your settings, you can simply click here, print paper invites, and in another pop-up window that you cannot see, it will automatically create a letter to send home with every student giving their parent the opportunity to connect to your Seesaw class and to receive those notifications that I remembered or that I mentioned, I'm sorry. So if you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to carrieram at fultonschools.org. And I hope you have a wonderful year with Seesaw. Thank you.